Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing sweat series, I'm Aditya. In this video, we are going to see concept of events and creating custom events in Svelte. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay. So let's take example over here. We have this card components. Now inside that, I have just added a button. So if I go to this card.svelte, there I have just added a button, which when we click, a function runs or something happens after we click this button. Let's say this card is something related to the e-commerce product card where you click this and then add to cart function runs. So in that case, let's assume that this button does some function after we click it. Now, how we can have an event listener on this so that we can listen for the event of on click and we can run a function. So for that, let's write a function in our script tag. Now here, I'm going to say function. Let's say, say hello, a very simple function. And then this function is just going to alert. Hi. And now we want this function to run after this button click. So on in Svelte, we can, there is a directive actually, which we could use for listening to an event and running a function after that event happens. So in this case, I could, we could say on then colon. And here you will see there are list of events. Now these events are typical JavaScript DOM events. So in this case, we are listening for click and what to do once that event happens. In this case, we want to do or we want to run this say hello function. If we go back over here, click this, there we go. Now we can also get access to the event object over here. And if we just console that like this, we can go back to our browser. Let's go to console over here. And now if we just click this, you will see we have that access to we have access to that event object. Now we can also use this for with a, a modifier. So in this case, if I go to the documentation there inside on event name, so here you will have those modifiers, and there are certain list of modifiers that can be allowed or that are allowed. So here we have prevent default. So for instance, if we are submitting a form, you can use on submit prevent default so that the form or the page doesn't refresh you stay on the same page and then you can make an ajax or axios call behind the scene and then you can send that form data to server in the same way we can have it for click as well let's try something like we just allow only click to be once or just once we just want to have it clicked once now if we go back again over here and just close this for now let's see click and if we click again let's see what happens nothing because it only acts like you can only click once so it's just a modifier a typical javascript modifier so we can use that to uh, change the or to have certain modifiers on our event now we can also have this for uh, components but how we can have events on component or how can we have custom events which our components can pass to the parent component. In this case, we have card.svelte, which is a child component of this cardlist.svelte. Now here, what I have done is, I have just taken an array of cards, like just having an ID, title for each card and some HTML. And here we are just using each block where we render or do a list rendering of these cards. And we can use this HTML directive to render this HTML over here. So add right HTML and then space the HTML. If there is any HTML, if there is no HTML or no HTML content, we just say fallback content. Now, what if we want to listen for a custom event that happens in the card? For instance, let's say we click this button. We want to notify this card list that a button is clicked in that particular card. So let's say we take a prop over here so that we can have access to the card id so here i'm just going to say card and let's export this prop let's take it at the top here and here we could say oops sorry card and whatever the item is now if we go back again over here we can dispatch a custom event which says to this card list that this card was clicked of course we can have here alert saying that okay hi and then 
here we could just do string concatenation by saying card.id and then it will show us the id of that card that was clicked that's fine but if we want to send this id back to our parent to this card list just to know which card was clicked we could use custom events to do that first we import event dispatcher from Svelte or create event dispatcher from Svelte so create event dispatcher from Svelte now here we say const dispatch and then here we say create event dispatcher and now here we could like once the button is clicked we could say dispatch name of the event so let's say clicked that's the event that's the custom event we have created and any detail we want to pass now this could be a string or could be an object as you could see it says any it's of type any so here we can let's pass an object so here let's say id and card id that was clicked now okay let's comment this part let's go over here and now how we can catch that event or how we can listen to that event on the component so here we could say on and then dispatch oh sorry clicked because that's the event that we have passing from the card component and here the function to run so let's write that function here function handle click and here we have event or uh, event object and if you want to console or if you want to see card clicked which card was clicked so here we could say here e dot detail so in the detail of that event we have the data and here we want to get the id from this so we could say e dot detail dot id and then here we could say handle click uh, let's give it a try so if we go over here and uh, let's see the console so here we could say okay let's remove this and here we could say there we go card click id of one clicked you have two clicked id of three so that's great and if you notice when i click that particular button in that particular card component only that event or that cards event run even though they are same components but still it could like the event is fired only once it's not fired thrice just because we have three cards because of course each component behaves independently now let's take it a step forward by forwarding this event to app dot where we are passing the event by creating the dis or dispatching the event from card taking it to card list dot swell but what if we want to take that event to app dot swell well there are a couple of options first one is okay we have this dispatcher over here in card dot swell over here over here we follow the same logic create another dispatcher over here and then in this function we dis dispatch that event with the same data that we get and then we again go back over here and listen on this card list the other way is we simply forward the events that case or that event forwarding it's possible for components as well as for dom elements let's see first for components so here we are creating the event at uh, in card dot well now here instead of on click instead of passing any function here we just keep it blank like this and let's assume that there won't be any function or we don't want to listen this in our card list of swell and then over here as that event is forwarded from cards to card list we can listen to that event over here and have that handle click function over here if we go back over here function handle click e and then console.log in app dot swell we could say uh detail dot id if we go back again over here let's give it a try so let's remove all of this from here click and there we go in app dot swell it's this one more time there we go and one more time there we go so this is how you could forward the events from the child in the nested components you can go from the child to the parent and to its parent so you can forward the events like this now what if you want to forward the event from parent to the child well we have props for that but what if we want it for like in this case for in terms of events well let's take a simple example let's create a button component button.svelte here we have 
a simple button component where we have slot and here what we want is whenever we use this button component we want that on click event to get attached on this button for instance let's say if i use that button component inside our card dot slide over here here so we want that to get attached over here well how can we do that well pretty simple first we import that component so let's say import button from button dot slide now here we can pass like this button and then what is there click me and let's now now we also need to pass this css class to that button now what we could do is we can simply copy this css from here and put that uh, css in that button component so let's take it from here put it over here and put a class of button and then here uh, okay very there it is and here we can just simply remove this now here we could have on click and a function to run so that would be say hello now let's see what happens when we run this function so in this case if we remove all this and let's say click you will see nothing happen because that on click event is not actually attached on that button component so to attach over attach that over here we simply say on click and that's it now that on click that we are having over here is forwarded to this button over here button tag over here and if we go back over here give it a try so let's remove everything from here click and there we go we have our button component working perfectly fine so that's all in this video hope you enjoy this video and the next video we are gonna take this series forward and see the concept of uh, stores and we will see how we can create a writable store and readable store or how we can have a state management system in our swell tab so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye